Okay, and our body is called a torso, and that's what we're modeling as a toroid. This is called a toroid coil, okay, and this is called toroidal pinch, where it gets very small in the center, center is a toroid. Now, the universe, they say, well, they say a black hole disappears into nothing, but a black hole turns into a white hole. It decompresses out, okay? Here's the Earth's magnetosphere in a toroid, okay? These are all based on a vortex, okay? Now, this is called a funnel. Are you having fun? And there's the dandelion puff, puff principle. How the universe reprocesses itself, because I'm saying it's an ecological system. It comes out the nozzle, the jet, which is right through here. Nature's hourglass. And decompresses, okay, and these are toroidal field coils, and decompresses and purifies it, and it comes out again, all over again, to continue the process. Okay? Uh, time matches is four. These are just other things I put. Okay, so let's look at a toroid. There you go. Yeah. Okay, get it going faster, 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 faster. Okay. Okay, and stop. You just start, move your hand, hold it only in the center. There you go. There is your tornado, there is your vortex. It's compressing, going through the singularity where the energy shoots out from, and going out the white hole, and it'll come back and go again in a closed loop cycle that's ecological. And that's how the coil is made. But it's not made like this, it's made almost straight lines around the invisible nine that it's spinning around the vortex. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it real fast. You should do this for water before you drink it. Yeah, no, a lot of people sell machines that do that. <coughs> so there's. Um, so, I'm explaining a vortex and how it works. Now, the vortex is driven by the emanations coming out the center. You can see it clearly in the pulsing of thirds. One, two, three. The thirds intersect in a harmonic, a timing. It's like music harmon hum musical harmonics. And that's how I keep the le electricity from having friction and having random collisions. Here's your 396s in the center. So your 396s always in the center. Remember I said we leave it alone? 396, 693. It flips. First it goes 396. And remember I said it flipped? 693. Here's your 124875s going in. So this is one winding. Here's the other winding going out. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. Oh, and then there's the space in between you were talking about. And if you put these both together, okay, is that where the you get this guy, which is the skin of the toroid. Because here you have doubling down. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. Here you have doubling up. One, two, four, eight, seven, five. There's your three, nine, six, six, nine, three. Okay. This and those two ingredients. Those two ingredients make this. In fact, everything you're seeing is all one and the same. The numbers never move. I'm just giving you zoom views, cross-section views. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you out-of-surface views. Right. Really what I'm doing here is, is an interlacing. I'm, really what I'm doing is I'm creating a... Um, because in reality, all the lines that exist are really the diagonal lines this way. It's all moving this way. It's the right-hand rule. And in reality, all these lines this way don't exist. But I needed to put them there so I could ha show you that there is really a tile or a spatial or a volume in how it moved. In reality, all these other lines under here don't exist. What you're seeing is really just this, which is the winding of the coil. But what I did was I superimposed, I interlaced the undercarriage so then that you would have a matrix from which you can tile, from which you then can, can decorate your environment so that you can then navigate and move about, or move around in it. Because that's what this whole thing is, it's a navigational map. It tells you how you can go anywhere in the universe and up and down and know what's going on in the universe. It's the secret of the gyroscope. Uh, it's, a, it's these numbers, this everything. The number nine is the source of the gyroscope and everything's spinning around nine. Remember we were going to say that it is a... Uh, Okay, so you now see that this is the skin. So these tiles really get bigger and smaller. See how they're longer here and wider out here? But here I, I had to make them just like a grid cloth to keep it simple, okay? Otherwise, I could, they would have been getting bigger, okay? 
By the way, this cheesecloth is very important. Again, there's no horizontal or vertical line. It's all diagonals, like our symbol. Um, in that's why in relativity everything's a warp and curve. Remember I said time follows a logarithmic spiral of the doubling circuit? Everything's diagonal, not time on our third dimension, not a, a bullet shooting, not light. Nothing can be horizontal or vertical perfectly. Even a photon behind the eclipse of the sun was seen to curve. A uh, photon coming from a distant star proving that relativity existed. It's a double curve. Okay. So, so here again... We are looking at, so when they do math made out of horizontal vertical lines, you do get a quad rule sheet of paper and you calculate things, that's totally false. Because if you get a quad rule and you put it diagonally, everything diagonally, it's not squares, it's diamonds. When everything's a diamond, then you can pick up your calculations, you can go off that end, and you can go through a hole and come back out the other end. And you can actually be the Toro. Does everyone follow that? Okay, I'll show a picture of that too. This is what I mean going through the hole. Okay, so on, on diamonds, you can, go, you can go off the page this way, and you're really coming back in around, and you're coming back out the other end. Are you making a virtual reality hole this information so you can kind of get inside it? <laughs> it's, it's something you can do. Wow. Okay. No, it actually needs to be modeled on a computer because that way you can see when you start with the number how the energy vibrates when you have a motion here, it goes over to there. You're going to have fun on that when we get to that, showing vibration and motion. Okay, so everything's spinning around the nine. Why? Because the etheron magnetism, that invisible field, is displacing everything, creating the vortex. Okay, and um, you have the doubling circuits and the come around contract. So, I think we'll start right now on that vibration that you'll have fun with and that energy. You get to <laughs> pick a number, any number. Four. Five. Okay. Which five would you like? Um, second row at the top. Yeah. Where? <laughs> right here? No, the one above that. The blue? Blue five. Blue. Way up there? No, no, the, 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 yeah, the, the red one. The big on one. On the left hand side, yeah. The red. How come you guys know? <laughs> right here? Yeah. Well, How come you guys know that that was the one he wanted? And why would he pick this one? It's so hard. Okay. Can't, you can't reach there. I'm, I'm dry. I actually shouldn't be using blue, should I? Oh, I don't have blue. Okay. So we have, we have five in the center, okay? So we, we're going to add up all the numbers and stop at 6. 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 2 is 4, 4 and 4 is 8, 8 and 7 is 15 is 6, 9 and, eight, 9 and 6 is 6, 6 and 6 is 12 is 3, 6 and 3 is 9, 9 and 5 is 14, 1 plus 4 is 5. That's what you get for making a hard one. I did it quick. 